back to the channel, y'all. We are here at the Guggen HQ, and I'm with my buddy Crispy. Oh, buddy Crispy right here. I've done something. It might be a stupid thing, but we're gonna give the Crispy some eyeballs. First, I gotta go in here in the HQ, get a couple things. Say hi to our old buddy, Mr. Elkie. Hey there, bud. He's a new resident here at the HQ. I'm in short supply of one of my favorite winter fishing lures of all time, and that is the spoons. I know I've been, I've been telling you guys about these spoons, but it is an essential winter time, and quite honestly, besides the spring, I use spoons all the time. Thinking about trying the uh, quarter ounce for the trout, and then I'm gonna pick up some three quarters and some halves for deep fishing on, uh, on winter bass. Mr. Worm's gonna check me out here. Oh, we got how many wagons? One, two, three, four spoons. Let's see if I can see how long those last me on the rocks. By the way, if you wanna pick up the spoons, anything else, googansquad.com, use promo code LFG and save at checkout. Not just spoons, we got it all folks. Tons of plastics. Don't forget about your crappie. We got it all. All right, back at the treehouse here with the Crispy Collector. <sighs> what have I done? What have I done? Well, the Crispy Collector, great little catfishing boat, shallow water boat. It's, it's nice to have an aluminum boat in, in addition to having a, a really nice, you know, I got the Phoenix back there. Really nice electronics on that. Love crappie fishing, bass fishing out of that. But it's nice to, uh, you know, get some catfish goo on the old boat every once in a while. And this, this boat's perfect for it. But for years, I've had this boat and I haven't had any electronics. We've been flying blind. So I decided to change that. And at first I was just gonna get like a little simple unit and tell the temperature, the depth and everything like that. And then I thought, Boy, wouldn't that be nice if I just I had the live scope on this one as well. You know, after all, can't fish without live scope anymore, right? Well, the fact is you can catch a lot of fish without live scope, but this is primarily my, my catfishing rig. I'm wanting to try uh, trying to catch some big catfish. This is what we got right here. We have got the Echo Map. This is the Garmin. I like, I like Garmin. I'm used to using Garmin's. I like them. I've used other ones in the past. I, I like Garmin, what can I say? Not endorsed by Garmin, not sponsored. I just like them. And the, uh, this is the Echo Map 994SV. So nine inch unit, still gonna pull some power, but it's not crazy. It's not like my huge unit that's on the silver bullet. This one came with the transducer. I'm gonna mount that on the back of the Crispy Collector. A lot of times I'm doing just slow trolling, looking around with my eyeballs, trying to look at the contours of, of the land and visualize the old way of trying to find fish. Now we'll be able to um, troll around and look at the bottom, see the, all, the, all the other feature, features and not get lost. We'll have mapping. Then I just decided to go ahead and just go for it. So we got the um, GLS 10 module right here. And we've also got the, uh, L, is it the LVS? LVS 34, yeah, LVS 34. That's the new live scope transducer. And uh, this company right here, Summit Fishing Equipment, they actually sent me one of these uh, units a while back and I've been uh, been wanting to, to put it to use and now we're actually gonna get to use it. And this, this is basically a portable live scoping housing. So it actually comes with a backpack uh, it's very popular with ice fishermen. You know, if you wanted a crappie fish off a dock or something like that, just take your live scope with you. That's a thing now, just, just taking it with you. We're actually going to hard mount this though uh, to the boat. I've already ordered some track systems. We don't have that here yet, but we're gonna, we're gonna jerry rig this sucker and see what we can do. And they were actually nice enough to send the, uh, the boat mounting system with it. So I've got this, this cool 360 uh, track mount and there's a whole pole holder as well. So this is quite ridiculous because the cost of all this stuff is comparable to the value of the Crispy Collector herself. Will it help me catch more fish? Stay tuned to find out. So first thing we gotta do is actually rig up uh, our unit itself into its housing. 
This thing is actually pretty cool because I'll be able to take this on and off the boat really easily. You know, putting this much money onto my my little crispy collector, probably don't want to leave it on there all the time. The other thing that's nice about this system is it's all enclosed and I went and got a battery for it. it it's gonna have its own separate power. So instead of running off the same power that's for my cranking battery and also runs my trolling motor and I have a weight distribution problem in the crispy collector, I don't need to add a bunch of weight. So this is nice that I'm not gonna have to add another big battery in the back. I, I've just went and got this one right here, which isn't, isn't very strong. I'm honestly gonna, I'm probably gonna have to upgrade to like a lithium or something like that. This should work fine for now. It'll have its own power and it won't be draining the juice off my trolling motor and everything like that. Cause these, these babies do suck some power. So I've actually already gone ahead and I've rigged up the GLS 10 on the back. This housing is, is made for this setup. So it's all pre-drilled and Summit fishing equipment was nice enough to send me one that already had the wires uh, wired up. So I didn't have to go through that menagerie. Let's put the graph on, let's put the battery in and see if it turns on. Go ahead and hook up our power. And we'll slide this baby in here. All right, now the trick fitting all this in here. Uh, get in there. All right, that wasn't too bad. Let's see if we got power. I see a blue button, that's good. Let's power on. Oh yeah, eyeballs, eyeballs. The whole thing is just contained, look at that. All right, we have, we have a unit. Sonar, nothing hooked up yet. Heck yeah, it's gonna be nice just having GPS and marking waypoints on this thing. Time to work on the back end. Her little hiney, she's gonna get two new holes. I've just taken the little template here, gotten it roughly level. Of course, when I'm sitting in this thing, it's not gonna be exactly level in the water, but we're gonna get it as close as we can. Make sure we're not gonna hit our gas tank. Good there. I'm not exactly sure what's behind here, but we're about to find out. Not much, apparently. All right, two clean, easy holes there. Dab a little silicone on here. Or put a giant glob, just whatever my, my gun here is wanting to do. Okay, that looks fairly level. <sighs> nice thing about the crispy collector if it ain't perfect, the boat ain't perfect either. I would use the word fairly, fairly level. But here's the thing, in this John boat, you go to one side or the other end. So the way that I've set it is just slightly offset. So when I'm sitting in the other side of the boat, it's gonna lean, it's gonna lean over and technically be level, maybe, I don't know. Unit is set up ready to go. This is the pole. Now I'm gonna mount this on a track, but the way this works is this is gonna sit right here. So I'm actually gonna have one track for both of these things. That's gonna be turned around facing my seat. And this is gonna sit in the track and the pole will go down in the water. I can move it with this lever and we're scoping baby. We're scoping. There's lots of adjustments on this so I can get it farther out, get it farther down, whatever we need to do to be scoping on whatever kind of fish we're trying to catch. So as a, a final test before hitting the water, that's powering on without me even pressing the power button. So I definitely wired something wrong, but it is turning on. Let's see if we got Deucer projections. Okay, this is uh, this is side scanning. 
telescope. Pano. There it is. It is working. So we'll get this adjusted when we get in the water and we will see how this is gonna work. I'm gonna have to just figure something out, put this on, mount it to for the time being till we get our track in. And th this whole boat has this uh, track on it, but it's just not strong enough. It's just not strong enough to mount something like this. So I'm going to do a plate down on the base and that way we don't have to worry about the the crispy's eyeballs flying off into the water. So we got our eyeballs installed. Everything is working. We're going to clean up. We're going to let the silicone dry. And then we are going to take this out on the water in the AM. So stay tuned. Good morning, fishing freaks. Looks like we got ourselves a foggy winter's morning, but everything's hooked up. Added a few doodads, dingle dongs. We're ready to hit the water and see what this puppy can do. So this is obviously what I'm most excited for right here. It's finally having a set of eyeballs on the crispy collector. So let's turn it on. Let's see if uh, transducer we installed last night is working. I actually ended up putting in the in this little backpack. So just kind of keep the moisture and everything off of it for now. But I've got some tracks coming in. Next time I go catfishing, which is going to be the next couple days. I'll have the track system set up for the pole and for the graph itself. So it looks like I need to adjust this up a little bit so I can read it better. All right, let's power it on. Also rewired, uh, rewired it correctly last night. So I have to turn on the power button. Okay. Just saw the screen kind of flash for a second. So we got power. We're turning on. We read. Hey, we reading. Here we go. Obviously, we're going to have to, uh, you know, do some adjusting, get everything the way we like it. But we are reading 49 degree water, eight feet deep. All right, let's go with, let's go with that. Let's go with the yellow. Done. Yeah, I'm probably going to go with the amber there. Oh man, this is nice. This is nice. I'll tell you guys, my favorite color palette on here on the on the Garmin is, is the green. For doing the side scan. Black emerald. There it is. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, we're sitting pretty now. I don't know how long this, this little battery is gonna last. We're gonna have to upgrade our battery situation. Sitting at 11.6 volts right now. We've got my speed. And I like just, I like having it right here. I mean, it's, it's close, it's not a huge unit, so it's, it's right in front of me. So having it on the, the track would be really nice. I can swivel it too, so when I'm wanting to fish up front or something. This is fantastic. Fantastic. Crispy has eyeballs, finally.
working good where I mounted the transducer. There's not much interference at all. So we've run around a little bit. Everything seems to be working good. Now it's time to get that pan optics in the water. So we'll step it in and see, uh, see if we can see any movement. Let's see if we can get a read on our, on our bait. Yes, we can. Yes, we can and we will. Oh, this is so good. It's perfect, I just sit right here in my chair, just watch. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think those are just a lot of shad. Well, y'all, everything looks wonderful with the scope. I just came over here to, uh, to a dock, just to kind of drop down and see if I can get any crappie or white bass to look at anything, but they ain't biting. They here, there's some here, but they ain't biting. We just had a bunch of cold rain yesterday. Lake looks like crap right now, but I just had to get out here and investigate, see what this thing looks like, and it looks awesome. So I'm so pumped to go on more adventures with the Crispy and have a set of eyeballs that I can do some advanced fishing with. And when I set this thing up, I really had in mind going after some catfish. And that's what I'm gonna do next. Uh, try to identify, you know, bait, catfish out there, deep water, do some drifting with this boat, set the rods and the rod holders and wait for that big bend. That's gonna be fun. But this thing for getting up here and, you know, dock slips, stumps, tying off the stumps and, and doing this, uh, the scoping, it's gonna be fantastic now. So couldn't be happier with, with the unit that I got looks good. The, uh, the summit fishing equipment, um, that, that's awesome. Uh, the, the live scope mount off the side of the boat. I mean, it already works right now, just dangling it off the side. But when I get it on a track, it's gonna be very efficient, clean. You know, my only problem is the, the battery life, I've already noticed it's, it's down to 10.9 volts right now. So it's, it's, it's been drained already for, you know, fishing for, couple hours just idling around so I'm gonna take it back to the treehouse I got my new uh, my track system coming in today that I'm gonna install on here so you guys stay tuned for future endeavors was it ridiculous putting thousands of dollars of electronics on this boat uh, yeah but was it worth it uh, I'm thinking so right now when I'm sitting in the boat looking at the fish on the live scope yeah yeah I think I think it's worth it and the nice thing is if I do want to fish without this I just take it out of the boat store it in the garage. So thank you guys for tuning in today. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for all the winter and spring fishing when things get crazy. And smash that like button. I will see you guys on the next adventure.